Hello, and welcome to the Postal Pleasure Channel. Today we're going to look at a very small lot of stamps uh, from the country of British Honduras. I guess now you call that a dead country uh, because it is now a modern day Belize, uh, which is um, in the Caribbean, uh, on the Caribbean Ocean uh, in Central America. I've not been there, uh, but let's go there together in the form of looking at these stamps. This again is from the Goodwill lot, or four lots that I picked up from Goodwill, four different bags. This would have been one of the ones you saw in the bag four preview. Um, I starting with I'm starting with a few of the uh, smallest lots, uh, just uh, for for ease of creating the videos. Uh, I'll dig into some of the bigger stuff later. I definitely have some requests I need to fulfill. Um, let's see. Let's get started. First we have what looks like uh, some kind of bird here, a great uh, curabo, curabo, okay, wonderful, nice uh, light like lemon yellow, and in fact because of the overexposure in the other corner, I'll start up here. And uh, while we're going with the animal stamps, we have quite a uh, heavy fish here, a Jew fish. Okay, nice. Is that one mint? We didn't get a look at the back side. It is, doesn't appear to have gum, uh, but uh, it doesn't appear to be canceled either. And it's so flat, I can't get underneath it, so let me just push it around on this slippery surface. And here we have one with the previous king. Uh, looks like... Uh, some kind of palm, and I can't read. It starts with a C. That's just too fine of a print for me to read at this distance. You know, I'll keep working over on this side. This one's quite nice. Uh, British Honduras Legislative Council, the Mace. There we go. Now this one does appear to be mint, and uh, only the lightest tinge of mint there. I can, and it is another one of the great Curabao. Stack those. And here we have another fish. Uh, this time a, a half cent. And, uh, you know, the black writing of the fish name is, is too fine uh, to read with the blue background like that as well. I'm sure once I zoom it in, we'll all be able to see it. And here's a ten cent. Uh, looks like uh, logs floating in water, so uh, mahogany logs in river. There we go. Great way to transport, transport I should say, uh, logs is float them down the river. And uh, looks like some um, uh, native or prehistoric, most likely, artwork. Wonderful. Mayan figures. On a one cent. Now this is a nice, you know, crisp, crisp post office fresh looking stamp. Um, Sub Umbra Floro, that must be a motto. We have a coat of arms there. Uh, we have a, a man with an axe and a man with a, a bat or club. Arms of the Colony is what it says. And this one again has the slightest hint of having a hinge. I actually had to look pretty closely to see that. Um, otherwise a very nice stamp. Uh, still a very nice stamp. Now, this one has uh, a little bit of selvage folded over. I saw that in one of the previous lots. Uh, which is interesting, this one's been used uh, and has a wonderful um, violet cancel. 1954, April 13th, 1954. Uh, I don't get the, uh, the city name, unfortunately. It's cut off. Um, and this looks like uh, Stanley Field Airport. And that's a 10 cents. Ooh, I think this is a type here, if I have my animals correctly. Although they describe it as a mountain cow. Maybe that's the uh, colloquial name. Uh, very nice. Uh, not an animal you see every day here. And here we have a small one. Oh, nice, an older one. British Honduras, 2 cent. Uh, Missing the perforations on the bottom, but maybe that was the edge of the sheet. It is a very uniform cut, so I'm hoping edge of the sheet and not scissors. And here we have another half cent from Honduras. Uh, this one being a crana is the name of the fish. 
I'm not going to try the uh, Latin name, although actually the Latin name is uh, tilapia something, so some type of tilapia. And we have another smaller stamp. Uh, Belize this time, interesting. Uh, so using um, the Belize name here, 1929, maybe Belize is also a city, uh, or maybe first a city before we named the country, or before the country was renamed Belize. Quite nice. And here's a much more modern one. 25th wedding anniversary. Very nice. And here we have a really good condition. I do see, again, evidence of a hinge. And uh, we've seen this stamp before, so I will stack it up on top of the other one. And another quite modern one. Uh, looks like Easter, 1971. Uh, Tablua chrysanthia would be the Latin name for that flower. Uh, and it has the selvage with some writing on it attached. Very nice. I'll leave that folded now, and uh, I'll probably unfold it later. So, a nice small lot of British Honduras. Again, I don't have a very big British Honduras collection, so it would be nice to add these to it. Thanks for watching. And next up, again, uh, in this uh, series of the Goodwill Stamps, is going to be Bermuda. Uh, so look forward to that in the near future. Of course, I may slide something in between, but uh, as far as Goodwill goes, Bermuda will be the next one. Thanks again for watching.